Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in. So before we get this video started today, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be vending out in Orlando Repticon January 21st and 22nd. So hope to see some of you guys out there if you're in the area. Swing on by and say hello and all our subscribers are going to get 30% off at the show. So be sure to stop by and say hi and uh, I'll bring the cheese balls. Loving things. Okay, enough messing around. So today's video is gonna be our five favorite ball pythons that we produced last year. And these aren't gonna be in any particular order. I'm just gonna show you what I think are um, five of my favorites. And I got this basket that I put them in. And the reason I purchased this basket is I was hoping for Christmas, I was gonna get a king cobra and a flute, but I didn't receive either of those things. So this basket's kind of worthless to me other than what I'm doing here with it. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's see what we got. Oh! I always say this. This is one of my favorites. It's true. So, this first one we have here is a Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied. Hoping in a couple years we can grow her up and then breed it to our Orange Dream Pied to get some super OD Yellow Belly Pieds. I mean, how cool would that be? Just add another dose of that orange coloration to it. Really bring it to life. All right, so now let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next one, I actually said it's gonna be my top five, but I guess it's gonna be top six because two of these I couldn't choose between. These came out of the same clutch, so I'm gonna show you both those right now. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you, this is a pastel orange dream lace. Hopefully that camera's picking that up well because this snake in person is a stunner. I mean, that orange in it is insane. All right, and the next one is the same snake pretty much. And like I said, these came from the same clutch, but this next one has fire in it. So this is a fire orange dream uh, lace pastel. You can see how that fire just kind of washed the whole thing out a little bit, but you still got that orange colors coming through real stunner here too so between these two i don't really know which one i like best i like them both in their own ways Ooh, snappy guy so all right on to the next one okay guys so let's have a peek inside and see which one's next oh yes okay i think you guys are gonna like this one so this was our sunset that we produced and this came from a banana het sunset to a het sunset and we actually hatched out two. One of them was a uh, inchy, I'm sorry. So it's a banana head sunset to an inchy head sunset. And one of them actually came out with inchy in it. We had an inchy sunset and then this regular sunset. And I decided I liked the looks of this one the best. So I held on to this and so, oh, sorry guys, that's my lunch bell. I know, I know everybody gets lunch breaks. You get lunch breaks, I deserve a lunch break. So just bear with me here. Oh, shrimp. <laughs> Man, I tell you, shrimps are delicious. Well, what kind of crazy world is this with a shrimp with no cocktail sauce to go with it, though? Gotta be, somebody's got to have cocktail sauce around here. Oh, the jackpot! Got the cocktail. Real quick here. Just one more little nibble, and we'll get on with the video. I don't know. The king of snakes, not you eat me. Oh, anyway. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. So, like I was saying on the sunset, I decided to keep the one that didn't have the inchy in it. The sunset uh, gene, it seems like when you start stacking other genes on it, at least from what I've seen so far, doesn't add a whole lot to it. I mean, I think this is one of those snakes the base morph, you know, looks better than a lot of the combos. Although I am planning to breed this to an ultra male because I seen a sunset ultra male that blew my balls off. It was one of the nicest combos I've seen for sunset. So that's probably the direction I'll go with this. Okay, guys, so two more left. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So once again, I loaded two snakes in here. I couldn't choose between the two, so I brought them both. So here we go. The first one I'm gonna show you guys here, this is our mahogany pied. 
And both of these that I'm going to show you are both females, so we're keeping both of them. I mean, how beautiful is that animal? I mean, I love the pied stuff. I can't get enough pied. Between pieds and clowns, I think I'd be happy with just those two um, recessive genes and just add to that. And then this is the uh, cinnamon mahogany pied that we hatched out. And look at how dark and rich that brown is. Such a beautiful animal. All right, so one more to show you, and that's going to wrap things up. Okay, so the final one coming up. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Okay, I'll get one of these. The one we got here is a lavender albino pied, a.k.a. the dream sickle. How... Freaking cool is that snake. I'm hoping I can hatch a bunch more of these out this season coming up. So, so nice. Um, and we also made some yellow bellies, uh, yellow belly dream sickles as well. Both very, very nice looking animals. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Um, hope to see you guys out there January 21st and 22nd. Orlando Repticon. If you enjoyed the video, give it that big old thumbs up. Punch that subscribe button in his face. We'll see you soon. Anyway, so this is a dream sickle. So what you have here is a lavender pied hoopity doopity doopity. Hoppity doopity. Hoppity doopity.